find a uh, question one in section two seven find a transpose a inverse a inverse transpose a transpose inverse okay a transpose a transpose of a matrix mean when we transpose the rows into columns the columns into rows so what used to be a row becomes a column so for example uh, if I start with a transpose here uh, this is uh, the first row is one zero it becomes the first column and the second row is nine three it becomes the second column this would be a transpose uh, now for a inverse we've done that before uh, uh, we could use Gauss Jordan this is a simple one um, this is uh, one uh, so let's go ahead and do a inverse so uh, a inverse uh, I'm gonna do it the shortcut way I've recorded other videos where I used the Gauss Jordan uh, the uh, the Gauss Jordan so uh, if somebody is interested in that they could see the other videos so first it's 1 over the determinant the determinant of this matrix is just 1 times 3 we cross multiply 1 times 3 minus 9 times 0 so that's 3 minus 0 so that's 3 and then what we do is uh, we switch these two the 1 and the 3 the diagonal so this becomes 3 1 and I put a minus sign on the other diagonal so this becomes minus 9 and minus 0 is the same thing as 0 and then I multiply each one of these entries by one third so I would get 1 uh, oh sorry I forgot to uh, Uh, one zero nine three. This is three one. Uh, oh, I sorry. I went off the a, a transpose. Uh, I'm supposed to go off the original. Uh, so you, we said we uh, we switch the signs on these. So this becomes minus nine zero. Okay, and then so this becomes uh, one third times three is one uh, zero. Uh, minus three and one third so this is a inverse now a inverse transpose so that means uh, I take the a inverse and I transpose it again the row becomes a column so the first row becomes the first column the second row becomes the second column and uh, so this is a inverse transpose and now we're going to find a transpose inverse a transpose inverse a transpose so i'm going to take my a transpose and i'm going to find the inverse of it so it's one over the determinant of the transpose the determinant is one times three three minus zero three one third and then uh, like i did before uh, i will switch uh, these two so this becomes uh, one third one uh, oops sorry again I went off the wrong one uh, of a transpose 3 1 and I put a minus sign on these so 0 minus 9 and I multiply each one by one third so I would get 1 minus 3 0 uh, one third so this would be a transpose inverse That does it for this question.